is first Timothy chapter two verse fifteen. Notwithstanding she shall be safe in childbearing, they continue in faith and charity and holiness with sobriety. Brock for Yahweh, Brock for Yahweh Shai, Brock for Yahweh, Brock for Yahweh Shai, Brock for Yahweh, Brock for Yahweh Shai. I like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Akakadash. All right. Yahweh is the true name of the God of Israel, who this world calls God. And Yahweh Shai is the true name of his only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. I would like to give double honors to the apostles and the elders, a great millstone, all right, where I learned this truth, okay? For giving up their bodies as a living sacrifice unto the Most High, which is the reasonable service, all right? And preaching out the 100% truth, the true gospel, all right? Double honors goes out to you, all right? I would like to say peace, all right, to the hopeful elect, all right, the 144,000, starting with the one-third of all Israelites who will receive salvation out of America once destruction comes, okay, and to the confusion of faith, who look like different heathen nations, but through your seed line you go back to your Israelite man, and your spirit bears witness that you're an Israelite because you can accept this word, this truth, all right? I would like to give more praises to Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Rakakadash, for allowing me to do another video to the Holy Spirit. All right, and this video, okay, is going to be about how an Israelite woman can be saved and will be receiving salvation. All right. The main point to get across, all right that she's going to be in, under subjection to an Israelite man and she will be saved through an Israelite man, all right? The, and the elect man, all right, of the Most High, okay? The Israelites are you so-called Blacks, Latinos, Native Americans, all right? So in this scripture, this is 1 Timothy 2 and 15. It says, Not, notwithstanding, she shall be saved in childbearing. And childbearing is bringing forth children, all right? So having sex, all right, being with an Israelite man, all right, in these um, times are about times are about to come to America, all right, because marriage, all right, being married, all right, in biblically it is having sex, all right, joining, being joined to one, all right, you'll need to go to a marriage, get a marriage license from the so-called white man to be saved, all right, and be have a ceremony. Right, but you're gonna be um, with an Israelite man, all right. If, all right, this is one way, okay, you can be saved right through a man, all right, is being his um, wife, okay, and being subjection to him because the head, all right, of you Israelite woman, you so called Black Latino Native American woman, is an Israelite man, and the head of an Israelite man is who the world called Jesus Christ, all right, which his real name is Yahweh Shai, and the head of him. Is the God of Israel, Yahweh, all right? So you need to get into order, all right, and repent from your wicked deeds, all right, and come back to being an Israelite woman, all right, and being under subjection under Israelite man, all right, and show your faith, all right, to please the Most High, all right, because at the end of the day, women will be saved. All right, but you need to work out your own salvation, woman as well. All right, with fear and trembling. Okay. So my next precept is going to be Ephesians chapter five, verse twenty-two. Wives, submit yourselves unto your husbands, as unto the Lord, for the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ, which is the anointed, is the head of the church, and he is the savior of the body. Okay. Therefore, as the church is subject unto the anointed, so let the wives be their own husbands, be to their own husbands in everything. All right? So you have to be under subjection. All right? So wives, is like women, elect women, all right, will be saved through elect men. All right? Israelite men. All right? The prophets, okay? 
who are who are the true men of the Lord, right? And men of the one third, okay? Men the most high gives faith to believe, right, and repents that they're Israelites. Okay, and they come back through the wisdom, understanding, and knowledge, all right, and they show their faith that they believe in the most high, all right. The most high is gonna pair, okay, you uh, um woman of marriage of marriageable age, all right, with those men, all right? Because you're not going to be an independent woman during these times that are about to come, all right? Also, younger women, all right, children, young daughters, all right, who are families, all right, of the elect men, all right, who get saved through the elect men, all right? If the Most High wants it, if, if the Most High has it, has it like that part of his plan, all right? Be saved through their families, all right? Also helps, okay? If uh, is a if an Israelite man, socket, if is it like woman, all right, is over, is not in a marriageable age, all right. She's um so called, all right, left her um prime, okay. The Most High can have part of His plan, okay, to save her, all right. If she shows faith, all right, and she's a help, all right, and she's she's showing sub showing subjection. All right, being submissive to Israelite men, all right? So the most I can have mercy on, on her, all right? So not every Israelite woman is going to be married, all right, to an Isla, uh, elect Israelite man, all right? So my next precept would be Isaiah 4 and 1. And in that day, seven women shall take hold of one man. So seven women, which is a number, it could be any amount of women are going to take hold of one man. Okay, so in that day, they're not going to care about being with other women, all right? Having to share a man, man, all right? Saying, we will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach, okay? They're not going to care, okay? Because they're going to realize they need to be saved through a man, right? And they're going to humble themselves, all right? This is how you, a woman, all right, need to get in order, because we're humbling ourselves as the elect is like man, hopeful elect. We're humbling ourselves to, to the Lord, Yahweh Shai, who is the world called so called Jesus Christ. All right. So you need to humble yourself to the Israelite man. All right. Because that's your head. All right. Whether you like it or not. All right. And this is only for the elect woman who sincerely, all right, are trying to seek out their own salvation. All right. Not to you wicked to not to you wicked um black Latino and Native American woman. All right. This is not for you. This is only for the elect. All right. If you go into the word sincere, all right, in Edema online, okay. It says pure, unmixed, true, genuine. Okay, so genuine, truthful. All right. So if you have genuine feelings. All right, of wanting to have salvation out of America when destruction comes, all right, to be safe, all right, during the vast amount of plagues, the Most High, the God of Israel, Yahweh, is going to bring to America, all right, for its wickedness, all right, you need to um, show your faith, all right, repent of your wickedness, all right. So my next precepts will be. Isaiah chapter 13, verse 12. I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even a man that, than the golden wedge of Ophir. All right. So the most high is going to make a man more precious than fine gold. Okay. It's your only ticket. All right. You Israelite woman. All right. Being under a man, getting saved through a man. All right. That's how you're going to get saved. All right. This is Matthew chapter 3, and verse 2. Let me start at one. In those days came John the Baptist, preaching the wilderness of Judea and saying, Repent ye, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. So you Israelite woman, you need to repent, you so-called black Latino Native American woman, of your wickedness. You did. You did. All right. You're doing. OK. If you want to be saved. OK. If you're sincere, first and foremost, you need to repent. Right. And try to change your ways. OK. At the end of the day, in becoming a new creature. All right. Be born again. All right. Not going to church and getting baptized. Get out of these churches. Right. These Catholic churches. 
right? This um um ba Baptist churches, Seventh Day Adventists, all right? They don't have the truth, okay? The truth, the hundred percent truth, you can find with the camp of Great Millstone, all right? They have the hundred percent truth, okay? So if you is like women, okay, you need to repent the right way, okay? Don't just get dipped in a bottle in a tub of water, okay? Thinking you're you're gonna get saved, all right? Because you women, you need to endure until the end as well, okay? Because you women, the Most High will give you trials, all right? To test, to see if you're party elect or not, okay? It's not just for the men, all right? It's for you women as well, okay? This is Acts chapter 2 and verse 21. And now shall, it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved, all right? So you so-called black Latino Native American woman, all right? You need to know the name of the Lord, all right? And his name is Yahweh, okay? That's his name in the ancient ancient Paleo-Hebrew, okay? His son's name is Yahweh Shai, all right? Yahweh means he is, and his son's name is Yahweh Shai means he is the deliverer, okay? So those are the names you need to be praying to, right? Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Which means Yahweh, okay, through, okay, Yahweh Shai, which is his son name, okay, Bahashim meaning, meaning through, okay. So those are names need need to be praying to, not Jesus Christ, all right, not Jehovah, okay, not Yeshua, all right. This is Acts four and twelve. Neither is there salvation of in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men, whereby we must be saved. Okay? So those names are keys. Keys are right to your salvation for you is like woman. Okay? They're keys. Okay, you need to know them. All right? You can't say Yeshua. Okay, you can't say Yeshia. You can't say Jesus Christ. All right? You can't say uh, um you can't call him the um deliver or save me. You need to say Yahweh. And Yahweh Shai, all right? At the end of the day, this is key, all right? These are sacred names, all right? So now pray through those names, all right? And when you pray, you is like woman, all right? To repent, okay? It should be in private, okay? And it should be, and this is 1 Corinthians chapter 11 and 5. But every woman that prayeth or prosify, pro, slot prophesies with her head uncovered, dishonoreth her head, for that is even all one as if she were shaven, okay? For if the woman be not covered, let her also be shorn, but if it be a shame for a woman to be shorn or shaven, let her be covered, okay? So you Israelite woman, all right, you need to have your head covered while you pray, okay? Not you Israelite men, you Israelite woman, okay? These are customs of the Israelites, okay, that you need to come back to, all right? The law, statutes, and commandments, all right? You need to repent from your wickedness, all right? You did from this world, all right, this society, and come back, all right, to being an Israelite woman, all right? And there's certain things, certain ways you must, um, certain ways, all right, you must go about Go about life, all right? My next preset is going to be 1 Corinthians chapter 7 and 14, all right? Because what if, all right, you're a woman, all right, and you believe, okay, you believe that um, America's going to get destroyed, right? You believe the 100% gospel, all right, that the most is going to send his son back to save the elect, okay? All right? You're trying to follow the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of your ability, okay? And you're sincere about it. What if you believe and you already have a husband, okay? And he doesn't believe this, all right? All right? So are you supposed to leave him, okay, and go to, all right, an Israelite man? Yeah. All right? A hopeful Israelite man, a prophet, okay? Or an Israelite man who believes? Are you supposed to leave that man that you're with, okay? This scripture is going to show you're not supposed to. Okay, for the unbelieving husband is sanctified by the wife, and the unbelieving wife 
is sanctified by the husband. Else were you children unclean, but now are they holy. Okay? So the unbelieving husband is sanctified by the wife. So you're not supposed to leave him. All right? Okay, at the end of the day, you're supposed to just stay. Okay? The most high, all right? If you're party elect, he's going to give you a path for salvation. Okay? If it's, all right, waking up your spouse, all right? Making him, turning him, all right? Making him repent and believing and being part of, being part of the elect. Okay? You're going to get saved through him. Or if it's the most high, all right? Um, taking out your husband, all right, and your spouse, all right, make you get rid of a man of the Lord, all right, or taking him, taking your husband out and make you, all right, be part of the body, all right, who gets saved, all right, by being under subjection of an Israelite man, all right, married or not, okay, all right, because the most I is going to destroy two thirds of blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right. So if your husband doesn't believe and he's wicked. All right. All right. And if he's purely wicked. OK. And you believe in this. All right. Just keep. All right. Keep um, following the law, statutes, and commandments. All right. Keep being subjection under your man. All right. Just keep being a subjection. All right. And Lord willing, the Lord will have mercy on you. OK. And take you out of that situation. All right. Or. Give your, the spirit to your man so he can understand, all right, and wake him up, all right? The Most High has avenues, all right, for you Israelite woman to be saved, all right? You just need to repent, all right, and take this seriously. This is not a game, all right? This is life and death, all right? The Most High is going to bring death to a majority of people in this world by excruci by extreme pain, all right? You don't want to be part of that. All right, for you sincere is like women who want to be saved. All right, who wants salvation? Okay, this is James chapter two and verse fourteen. What doeth a prophet, my brethren? Though a man say he have faith and have not works, can faith save him? All right. Let me jump to seventeen. Even so, faith, if it have no works, is dead, being alone. All right. So you women need to show your faith through your works as well. All right. Just like the men has to, you women have to as well. All right. Stop um, doing these abominable acts. OK, let me get some. Stop. All right. First of all, you should be in a modest apparel. All right. Try and dress in modest apparel. OK. Covering your head. OK. Wearing a dress. All right. Not showing your figure. All right. Not dressing in um, 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 apparel. Of American society that some deemed as a whore, okay, showing your skin, all right. Stop eating pork, shrimp, lobsters, and crabs because all these foods are abominable. At the end of the day, this is the food the slave master, the so-called white man, all right, forced us to eat during slavery so we can break the law, statutes, and commandments of God. So you got to get out of eating these wicked ass foods, all right. Okay, Sabbath, high holy days. The Sabbath goes by the new moon, okay. So start okay, resting on the Sabbath, all right? You're supposed to try and practice these, all right? You can't keep it perfectly, but you women still need to try as well, okay? Keeping the high holy days, the Sabbath, all right? All right, Ten Commandments, all right? Do not worship other gods, all right? Do not make idols, okay? Honor your father and mother. Do not murder. Do not commit adultery. By sleeping and being a whore, sleeping with another man while you're married, okay? Do not steal, do not lie, okay? Do not bear false witness. All these laws and customs go to you Israelite woman as well, all right? So you need, you need to be trying to practice them to the best of your ability as well, all right? All right, my apparel, okay? All right, don't die. Your hair blonde, okay? Get out this wearing fake hair, okay? All this wicked acts, okay? Tattoos, all right? Women with tattoos, all right? This is not, is like customs, all right? Having tattoos all over you, all right? So now that you know this now, 
right? Don't get tattoos anymore, okay? It shouldn't be a hard thing, all right? All right, if you really want to get saved, all right? So me going to this word, all right? Submissive, right? In edamaonline.com, okay? It says inclined to submit, yielding to authority, all right? So you need to get an order, yield to authority, all right? And the authority your head is an Israelite man, the elect man, okay? So you need to get under authority to them, all right? So repent for your wickedness, start following the law, statutes, and commandments, praying to the Most High, Yahweh, Bashim Yao Shai, okay? Covering your head while you pray, okay? And try to seek out an Israelite man, all right? Try and hear the true gospel, right? And not give, not give authority over, not show authority over a man, okay? Try to seek out an Israelite man, okay? At the end of the day, all right? Because that's how you can get saved through an Israelite man, all right? So you need to humble yourselves, all right? That's the job of you women, all right? This is Deuteronomy chapter 10, verse 12. And now, Israel, what doeth the Lord thy power require of thee, but to fear the Lord thy power, to walk in all his ways, and to love him, and to serve the Lord thy power with all thy heart, with all thy soul. Okay, so this is to you, Israelite woman, as well. All right? All right, to fear him. Okay, fear the Most High. Walk in all his ways. Okay? Try and follow his law, statutes, his commandments, to the best of your ability. To love him, all right? First John 5 and 3, right? Love is following the commandments, right? Not just saying you love him, right? Not just saying with your mouth you love the Most High, you love Jesus, okay? And think you're going to get saved. And to serve the Lord thy power with all thy heart and with all thy soul, all right? So serving it is like man, being under subjection, all right? This is Proverbs 1 and 7. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. But, the, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. So fearing the Most High, okay? Fearing His Son, okay? Fearing, all right? If you, okay, um, give authority, all right, over Islam man, all right? You're being wicked to Islam man. Fearing what the Most High is going to do to you, okay? That all goes through a channel of fear, all right? From the Most High all the way down to the His um, men on earth. Because the men of the Lord... Right from the Bible, okay, or back today, okay, whether you like it or not, okay. The hundred percent truth is with the camp of Great Millstone, all right. The Spirit reveals that, all right. This is James chapter one verse twenty two. But be but ye doers of the word, slakia. But be ye doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. So, so don't deceive your own self. Right, saying you love Jesus and all that, okay? And you want to be saved, but you're not doing anything. You're not changing your ways, all right? You're not cutting off vanities, all right? To you, for you, it's like women as well. You're not cutting off vanities, all right? Being a whore, all right? Breaking law, statutes, commandments, sinning willingly, all right? Because you women need to be under subjection to an like man to be saved, right? Saved through childbearing, all right? This is Philippians chapter 2 and verse 12. Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, okay, but now much more in my absence, work, put your own salvation with fear and trembling. So you women need to fear the Most High, who this world calls the Creator, God, okay? You're supposed to fear Him, all right? You're supposed to fear, all right, if you're not right, all right, under an Israelite man, okay? The Most High is going to jack you up, all right? If you're not right, okay, if you're not showing your faith, all right? If you don't have any faith, if you don't believe in the Most High, okay? If you're being a whore, okay? If you're trying to um, show your authority over a man, okay? You need to fear that the Most High is going to jack you up, all right, for that, okay? And majority of women don't, all right? So you women, all right, you sincere woman, okay, you need to fear the Most High, all right? This is Matthew chapter 24, verse 13. It's my last scripture. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. All right? So you women, 
all right? You need to endure until the end as well, okay? You're not saved right now, okay? Just because you go to the church, all right, it doesn't mean you're saved, all right? You're saved when you're saved through the elect man, all right? When you're beaten up in a chariot, all right? What this world calls a UFO, okay? A chariot, a chariot of Israel, that's when you're saved, all right? So you need to endure until the end, okay? Because the Most High is not just given, all right, trials to um to um to Israelite man, men, okay? Trials are coming for you women as well, all right? Hardships, okay? Temptations, all right? The mark of the beast, all right? You're gonna have to deny that chip, the RFID microchip, all right? You're not supposed to get that chip, okay? All right, the chip right here. You're not supposed to get this. This is the mark of the beast, according to the Bible. All right, if you get this chip, all right, the Most High, the God of Israel, will destroy you. Okay, that's for you, woman, as well. The Most High doesn't get passes, right, to you, woman. All right, if you're pretty, okay, if you have a nice figure, the Most High doesn't give a hell. All right, He will destroy you if you take this chip. All right. So I hope this video is edifying, all right, to the sincere sisters who want to get saved, all right, who are trying to get into order, all right? Death and utter peril and destruction to America, and shalom to the hopeful elect, all right, shalom.